God of War Pharaoh, we are adding new tech with which you can set everything on fire. And by everything, I mean grass, tall grass, forests, buildings, siege equipment, cities, everything can burn. The tactical advantages of fire are, let's say, you know that there's enemies in the forest. You can just burn it down. Burn down the forest, they'll take casualties, and they can no longer hide in a burned down forest. Same goes for tall grass. Let's say a unit is hiding in tall grass. You just want to flush them out. Just set the tall grass on fire. Problem gone. But do be careful where you're spreading your fire, because fire is unpredictable. It can come back to you, you can set your own units ablaze. Just be careful, pyromaniacs. A new feature for Total War Pharaoh. Uh, previous Total War titles had unit formations. We're trying to upgrade those to not only formation for the unit, but to give units a specific order. There are three basic types of unit stances, an advance, a uh, hold ground and a uh, give ground formation. An advance will make your unit advance forward and when engaged to the enemy, uh, they will try to push them back. Uh, a hold will make the unit hold their current position and their current formation ready to be charged. And a give ground will make the unit go backwards while facing forward, maybe protecting from ranged fire or disengaging from the enemy. There are also upgrades to those three basic unit stances. For example, we have the Reckless Advance, which will increase the melee attack of a unit while also decreasing melee defense of a unit while the unit is advancing. And there is the Spear Wall, which will make a Spear and Shield unit get into formation, uh, braced, uh, and ready to be charged. Unit formations will provide for greater battle depth as players will be able to execute intricate battle tactics that they devised beforehand. Not all units have each unit stance. More elite or trained units will have a greater variety of unit stance, while poorly trained units will most probably have just one. Armor in the Bronze Age was quite fallible. It was easily dented, it was easily chipped, it could be easily destroyed. So what we've implemented is an armor degradation system. We have weapons that can damage armor way faster than other weapon types, let's say. A club can destroy an armored unit's armor and make it useless against a swordsman. An axe can damage shields, it can splinter them, it can also damage armored units way easier because it has that heft. A spear, on the other hand, is really good against chariots. If a guy is running at you with a chariot, you don't want a sword to poke at him, you want a spear to take out the driver. Just like in previous historical Total Wars, generals will have bodyguards, as you don't want to send your hero alone in combat. The new thing in Pharaoh is that we'll allow the player to customize their bodyguard as they wish. You have lots of different customizations. You can equip different weapons, you can equip different types of armor, and you can equip different types of shield. You can also equip your bodyguard with a chariot so he can move faster on the battlefield. You can change them immediately uh, in the campaign, so you can switch them around as you need or as your preference for a bodyguard is.